Imagine this, a silent killer lurking in the shadows of space, hurtling toward Earth at breakneck speed, discovered just two days before it could change everything. What if it had hit? Cities shattered, skies ablaze, lives forever altered. But this isn't science fiction. It's the real story of asteroid 2025 TP5, the cosmic close call that just skimmed our planet. Buckle up, viewers, because today we're diving into the heart-pounding truth about near-Earth threats, what could have gone wrong, and why we must act now to defend our world. If you're ready to face the star's deadliest secrets, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's uncover the wake-up call humanity can't ignore. The Close Call of 2025 TP5, a wake-up call for planetary defense in an uncertain cosmos. In the vast expanse of space, where celestial bodies dance in eternal orbits, humanity occasionally receives a stark reminder of its vulnerability. On October 15, 2025, asteroid 2025 TP5, a rocky intruder roughly the size of a small building, streaked past Earth at a mere 97,000 kilometers, about 60,300 miles, closer than the Moon's average distance of 384,400 kilometers. Discovered just two days prior on October 13 by NASA's Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, ATLAS, at Mauna Kea Observatory in Hawaii. This event underscores the precarious balance between cosmic indifference and human ingenuity. While the asteroid posed no immediate threat, sailing by at a relative velocity of 8.4 km per second, its proximity ignited global discussions on planetary defense. This essay delves into the details of 2025 TP5's flyby, explores hypothetical impact scenarios, draws parallels with historical events, analyzes broader implications, critiques existing systems, and examines future safeguards. Through this lens, we confront not just a single asteroid, but the enduring challenge of protecting our fragile blue planet from the star's silent hazards. The Discovery and Flyby, a testament to modern astronomy's vigilance. The story of 2025 TP5 begins with its belated detection. Classified as an Apollo group near-Earth object, NEO, this asteroid measures approximately 13 to 30 meters in diameter, comparable to the wingspan of a commercial airliner or the height of a 10-story building. Its orbit is eccentric, with a semi-major axis of 1.89 astronomical units, O, an inclination of 1.47 degrees, and a period of about 2.6 years. Remarkably, orbital calculations reveal that 2025 TP5 had a previous close encounter with Earth in September 1979, undetected at the time due to less advanced technology. ATLAS, a network of telescopes funded by NASA and operated by the University of Hawaii, spotted the asteroid during routine sky surveys designed to identify potential threats days or weeks in advance. Observations were swiftly reported to the Minor Planet Center, part of the International Astronomical Union, allowing for rapid trajectory refinement. By October 15, at 2009 Coordinated Universal Time, 2025 TP5 reached its closest point, passing at 0.25 lunar distances, LD. The following day, it grazed the Moon at about 120,000 kilometers, again without incident. Public reactions on social media platform X ranged from awe to humor. One user quipped, Asteroid 2025 TP5 for President, reflecting a mix of relief and levity. Another highlighted its Chelyabinsk-like size, noting, a rock about the same size as the Chelyabinsk meteor whizzed by. These responses illustrate how such events bridge scientific discourse with everyday awareness, fostering a collective appreciation for astronomy's role in safeguarding humanity. This flyby was the 125th NEO passage within 1 LD in 2025 alone, and the 8th in October, emphasizing the frequency of these encounters. Yet, the two-day warning period raises questions. How close is too close, and are we truly prepared? Hypothetical impact, from airburst to localized devastation. Imagine if 2025 TP5's trajectory had shifted by mere degrees, placing it on a collision course with Earth. At its estimated size and speed, the asteroid would likely disintegrate in the atmosphere, resulting in an airburst rather than a ground strike. 
The energy release could equate to 0.1 to 1 megaton of TNT, generating a shockwave capable of shattering windows over tens of kilometers and causing injuries from debris. Factors influencing outcomes include composition, rocky or metallic, entry angle, and impact site. An oceanic hit, probable given Earth's 70% water coverage, might produce localized waves but no major tsunami. Over a populated area, however, the effects could mirror historical precedents, with potential for thousands of injuries and economic losses in the millions to billions of dollars. The fireball's intense light and heat could cause flash blindness or ignite fires, while sonic booms might damage structures and eardrums. In a rarer ground impact scenario, a crater 100 to 300 meters wide could form, destroying nearby infrastructure. Yet, global catastrophe is improbable. Asteroids under 1 kilometer rarely cause widespread extinction-level events. Psychological ramifications, however, could be profound, amplifying public fear and straining emergency responses in the brief warning window. Historical Parallels Lessons from Chelyabinsk and Tunguska To contextualize 2025 TP5's potential, consider two seminal events, the 2013 Chelyabinsk meteor and the 1908 Tunguska explosion. The Chelyabinsk incident involved a approximately 20-meter asteroid entering Earth's atmosphere at 19 km per second, exploding with 0.5 megatons of energy at an altitude of about 23 km. The shockwave injured over 1,500 people, primarily from shattered glass, and damaged 7,200 buildings across six cities, costing approximately $30 million. No fatalities occurred, but the event's undetected approach, coinciding with the anticipated flyby of larger asteroid 2012 DA-14, highlighted detection gaps. Earlier, the Tunguska event saw a 50 to 80 meter object detonate over Siberia with 3 to 50 megatons, flattening 2,150 square kilometers of forest, equivalent to the area of Luxembourg. Eyewitness accounts describe blinding light, seismic tremors, and atmospheric disturbances felt thousands of kilometers away. Remarkably, no human deaths were reported due to the remote location, but at least 30 people in the vicinity experienced effects like burns or shock. Recent studies, including comparisons to comet Shoemaker-Levy 9's 1994 Jupiter impact, suggest Tunguska was an airburst from a stony asteroid or comet fragment. These examples illustrate that even small NEOs can wreak havoc. 2025 TP5, similar in scale to Chelyabinsk, could have replicated such localized destruction, reinforcing the need for proactive measures. Analysis scientific, societal, and existential implications. The 2025 TP5 flyby offers profound insights. Scientifically, it advances our understanding of neopopulations. We've cataloged over 39,000, but small ones like this evade early detection due to their dimness and sheer numbers. Dozens pass within lunar distance annually. Orbitally, its minimum intersection distance, MOID, of 0.0006 astronomical units, approximately 90,000 kilometers, signals recurring risks. Societally, such events democratize space awareness. Media coverage and social media buzz, as seen in ex-posts from users detailing the flyby, educate the public and spur funding for astronomy. Economically, potential impacts could disrupt global markets, as simulated in exercises like NASA's Planetary Defense Conference scenarios. Existentially, it evokes the cosmic perspective, Earth's fragility amid the universe's vastness. Philosopher Carl Sagan once noted that asteroids remind us of our shared fate, urging international cooperation. In an era of climate change and pandemics, 2025 TP5 amplifies calls for resilience against low-probability, high-impact threats. Critique. Shortcomings in planetary defense. Despite progress, critiques abound. Detection relies heavily on systems like Atlas, yet small asteroids often go unnoticed until days before approach, as with 2025 TP5 or the 2017-001, blindside, event. NASA's catalog covers 90% of NEOs larger than 140 meters, but smaller ones, capable of city-level damage, remain elusive. 
funding and coordination are inadequate, the U.S. leads via NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, PDCO, but global efforts lag. Public communication often sensationalizes risks, fostering misinformation, evident in some ex-posts speculating about something unusual in space. Mitigation strategies, like evacuation, are viable only with more warning, deflection requires years, as demonstrated by NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, DART. Moreover, equity issues arise. Impacts in developing regions could exacerbate disparities, yet planetary defense is dominated by wealthy nations. The Path Forward – Innovations in Planetary Defense Hope lies in emerging technologies. NASA's DART mission in 2022 successfully altered the orbit of Dimorphos, a moonlet of asteroid Didymos, by 32 minutes, proving kinetic impactors work. This milestone paves the way for future deflections. Upcoming is NEO Surveyor, slated for launch in 2028, an infrared telescope designed to detect 90% of NEOs larger than 140 meters within 30 million miles of Earth. By scanning in infrared, it will spot heat signatures invisible to optical systems, potentially providing weeks or months of warning for threats like 2025 TP5. International collaborations, such as ESA's HERA mission, following DART, and the UN's International Asteroid Warning Network, enhance global readiness. Private ventures, like those from SpaceX, could enable rapid response missions. Conclusion. Embracing the cosmic imperative. The safe passage of 2025 TP5 is not merely a dodged bullet but a clarion call. It reminds us that while the universe operates on scales indifferent to human existence, our capacity for foresight and innovation can tip the scales. By learning from Shulyabinsk and Tunguska, critiquing our limitations, and investing in dart-like advancements, we forge a shield against the stars. As we gaze upward, let this event inspire not fear, but resolve, to unite as stewards of Earth, ensuring that future generations inherit a world unscarred by preventable cosmic wrath. In the words of astronomer Neil deGrasse Tyson, asteroids are nature's way of asking, how's that space program coming along? The answer lies in our collective action.